Hey everyone, this is Project SBC. Today I'm going to show you how to make the base case in my magnetic click together system. I will leave a link to the STL files and the materials I used in the description below. So first off you're going to need the 3D printed parts which I have here. You're going to want to use ABS or PETG. You don't want to use PLA because it will warp under the temperatures the Latte Panda Alpha gets to. You'll also remember in my last video that there was a slim and an extended version. I'm going to build the slim version today. The extended version is identical with the exception that the part's just a little bit thicker. So if you're going to do the extended version, make sure you download the extended version end and side pieces instead. You're also going to need some glue. I've got some super glue gel here by Gorilla Glue. Basically any gel glue will work. Don't get the liquid version. It tends to run out when the glue is curing. You're also going to need at least 24 6 millimeter in diameter by 3 millimeter in height magnets. I say at least because if you have extra you can use them to secure the magnets while they cure. Now I just showed you some north and south facing direction magnets on the graphic. It actually doesn't matter figuring out which is which. You just need a stack of one direction facing magnets and another in the opposite direction. So using north and south, I'm going to take a stack of magnets that I have here. I'm going to split it in half. And I'm going to rotate one. I'm going to call my left stack the north facing and the right stack the south facing and I'm going to put them on opposite ends of my project work area just because they will attract each other if you put them too close. So let me show you how to put together one of the end pieces where the HDMI cable is. So per the graphic that we had earlier you want north facing up on these two holes right here. So I'm going to take my glue I'm going to stick a dab in each hole I'm going to grab my north facing stack. I'm going to slide a magnet right off the top and I'm going to slide it right into the hole just like that. I'm going to give it a little push down to make sure the glue spreads out and that piece is done. So I'm going to grab another north facing magnet from the stack. I'm going to slide it off the top still facing north I'm going to slide it into the hole and I'm going to push it down to make sure that the glue spreads out. Now we're going to work on the ends where the south facing magnets are going to be. So I'm going to tilt this up, readjust the camera, stick a dab of glue on the top. and I'm going to grab one of my south facing magnets from my right stack still facing south up I'm going to slide it into the hole now the important feature that we have here is that if a north facing magnet is pointing this way south is this way and if south is pointing up north is facing down so these two magnets are actually going to attract each other which makes it a little bit easier to put these magnets in I'm going to flip it around, dab of glue, and I'm going to grab another south facing magnet from the stack, slide it off, and drop it right into the hole. Give it a push down, make sure the glue spreads out, and now these magnets are actually attracted to each other, so they will hold each other in a little bit. So now we got to put some more north facing magnets on the top. So I'm going to take my glue once again. Grab a north facing magnet. I'm going to slide it from the top. Still facing north up. And I'm going to drop it in the hole give it a push down 
and repeat on the opposite side. North facing magnet, slide it off the top, slide it into the hole, and give it a push down. And that will conclude one of the end pieces. And you're going to repeat that on the opposite side like I've already done here. All right, now I'm going to show you how to do one of the top covers. Same thing is going to apply on the bottom cover when you get around to it. So if you'll remember on the other pieces, we had north facing up, which means we have to have south facing up on each four of these. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab my glue. I'm going to stick a dab in each hole. And I'm going to take my south facing magnet stack. I'm going to slide a magnet off the top, stick it on the surface and slide it right into the hole. Now I mentioned some extra magnets earlier, which I have right here. If you want to help these cure better, you can take a magnet. Now I already know that these are facing in the right direction, so when I stick this on the bottom, it holds in place. And that's going to hold that magnet in place while it cures. So I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the holes. You can use six by three millimeter magnets on the bottom as well. I just happen to have some larger diameter ones to use. Okay, I've got magnets in every hole and I'm going to take my larger diameter magnets and I'm going to stick them on the bottom just to secure everything in place. And I'm going to put this off to the side away from the other magnets that are on the other pieces. And last is the side pieces. If you'll remember, south is facing outward on these end pieces. So we're going to need north facing on here. Take my glue. Grab my north facing stack. Slide a magnet off the top. Still facing up, I'm going to slide it into the hole. drop more magnets and I'm going to secure these on the end with some larger diameter magnets just to hold them in place a little bit better. So repeat the same steps that you did on this piece with this piece, this piece with this piece, and this piece with this piece. When everything's done Wait at least 12 hours for things to cure. Follow the directions on your super glue container. Everything comes together just like that. So that concludes this video. If you try to attempt this project and you run into problems, shoot me a message, leave a comment on this video, and I'll see if I can help you out. I will be opening a store where you can actually buy these completed cases. So keep an eye out for that. I've got a lot of cool projects coming up. I've got a lot of parts in recently. Um, I actually got one of the Latte Panda Deltas as soon as, as soon as it was available on the DF Robot store. So I'm going to be doing a video on one of those. I got my LiPo battery pack parts in. So I've got two 5,000 milliamp hour batteries and a 2S balancer and charger circuit. So I'll be creating one of those. And I also have another project you guys haven't seen that I will be posting in the next couple days to go along with the case here. So please keep an eye out for that as well. Thank you for watching. Maybe subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.